Good evening, folks. Welcome to another episode of the Weekly Tangent. This is for show 27, and it's July or August 8th. I was going to say July 8th. I left in July to go on vacation. We're back. I'm Greg Brooks, your two hosts. We're here to talk about games and everything that we always do on the show, like play some, show some, talk some. And yeah, we got back from vacation. I was, uh, I was me not being around. Uh, it was, I don't know, it was kind of quiet. Not there too were, bad. There was a couple other, there was a couple other people that were gone. So there was a couple of days where, I mean, it was a little, little quiet. It was like, it was like me, Amy, Chris, Cameron. I mean, it was, there was a couple of days. It was pretty thin in here for nice. sure. Yeah, so. That's not too bad. Welcome Baltimore. So. Saw you yesterday, man. Thank you. For stopping in uh, Games Gone Wild, our show on Facebook. That was funny. Yeah. We didn't expect you over there, but uh, appreciate you being in there, man. We uh, we do that show weekly as well, mm-hmm. and that's uh, kind of more casual game focused over there. But uh, yeah. yeah, back and They usually kind of cover our Monday, Wednesday, and Friday releases. And yeah, yeah we try to do those, and then, so. as Brooks is saying, jump to something else, more core uh, or PC game related um, towards the latter part of the end of the week, so it always works. We uh, we ended up getting some good games out yesterday for that, and then we've got a few games this week that were um, day and day releases. Mm-hmm. We're we're going to be talking and playing some Silver Chains, which will be the first game, and that one is kind of an homage to the uh, I don't know the the, the gore horror. Right. Kind of games of, right. of old. I mean, you've got it covers a little bit of Outlast when we were playing it. Yep, covers a little bit of like Resident Evil homage. It covers a little bit of uh, Amnesia. We were talking so sure. As yeah. you see the game being played, you'll kind of get an idea of that. Yeah, as you go through, and then we're gonna play God's Trigger, which is a game that's uh, another co-op. So we always like to do a little bit of co-op in the show. Makes it fun being able to play uh, the game locally. So we're going to do a little bit of that one. That uh, is available. Both games are available from Steam. If you buy them from us, you'd be able to redeem the Steam key over there. And uh, yeah, they're pretty good games. I was happy with them. You like all types of games? Oh, that's great, man. Yeah, we were glad to see you in there, Baltimore. You were usually a little bit... Oh, you're usually at work. You did mention you were off a little bit earlier yesterday. So we appreciate you being there, man. You can stop in any time. You've got... The extra time off of work. I don't um, know. I don't know if you. Caught, I, or I was gonna say I don't know if you caught this during Wednesday's show, but I was laughing as I was scrolling through my Twitter feed the other day. Yes, I, I got. I got out. a good chuckle out of you making fun of uh, of Paul. Good old Paul over there. At Paul Forbes. Tassie. Somehow he got stuck playing Anthem again. At God, no, I haven't. Wonder why? Yeah. I haven't clicked into his. Well, we used to read him all the time because he used to. Come Nothing out. against Paul, but I don't think they're paying oh. him a million dollars to play it. <laughs> no, no, not. This is not at all against him. But somehow he got caught up playing Anthem again. Interesting. And Baltimore was kind of ribbing him a little bit on Twitter, and I got a, I got a pretty big laugh out of it. I hadn't read. Paul Tassie for a while, but we used to read. We used to read him daily. Yeah, what was his th- destiny? He, well, right, he, he always had some like foot in the door on destiny information. Yeah, like, he comments. was he was in on that, and then that kind of transitioned into like there was some. He started playing division, then it kind of turned into looters, and then Fortnite happened. So we kind of you know you would do right. s- some of both. So no, no doubt. Speaking of that, well, before we get into news. I didn't want to like jump too fast, but before we get into news, definitely for anybody new that's checking us out, definitely uh, if you like this, subscribe, and then give us a like or dislike, let us know, because uh, we'd love to hear some feedback. We always use that to make the show a little bit better, and we're doing a similar format to what we did before we left uh, for the holidays, so, or for vacation, so um, we're going to show zero games we're gonna do news we're gonna show zero games where we just kind of talk about them we're gonna actually play two of them though yeah so that's gonna be the the latter half of uh the show but let's jump into some news and we'll kind of uh discuss a little bit where's which which mouse works here here this one works gosh um i'm a little all over the board i know we're all over the place today but uh speaking of somebody getting roasted who doesn't get roasted anymore sean murray and you've got some good reasons for that. You know, definitely he's done a lot, and we thought we'd show a little bit of No Man's Sky. Since if you, nobody has seen this today, it was a big deal because 
you know, basically No Man's Sky has gone out of their way to make, or Sean Murray and the team has gone out of their way to make No Man's Sky the best it possibly could be. And now, you know, with the VR eminent right. deployment, so right. we, we got the we got the multiplayer already. Mm-hmm. We got VR imminent here on the 14th. Right. If you've got a Sony PlayStation VR headset, you can join in. I believe HTC. I think Vive you can have Vive well. can do it. I don't and know. The if, index. I don't know if. I don't know if Oculus can do it. Does, but yeah, but I know that they talked about Steam's index support. Yeah. So um, you can definitely enjoy some new new experience. But I don't know if you just noticed that there was somebody riding something just a minute ago. Mm-hmm. The third thing that's coming that they're teasing out with this is animal taming, which in all, I don't know if I thought animal taming would be a big, like, pillar of a thing, because he talked about three pillars, right? Right. To, to, like, the experience getting better. So, yeah, this is, uh, you and I go way back on this game. We were there launch day playing this, so it's really fascinating to see the game now, and, like, I remember... Riding the crabs. I remember talking. We were like, man, like VR in this game. So it's like just around the corner here. You've got that pillar. You've got the kind of the social hub MMO kind of thing. Yeah, thing going, going on. on. They don't show how many players, but somebody pointed out when I was reading it this morning that well, they showed about eleven. You figure it's probably a twelve-player instance. I don't know if it's going to be much larger than that. So it's kind of reminded me of like Fallout 76 in terms of like maybe what you're going to have in this world. Oh, we're jumping to something else. <laughs> well, I like Vegas too, oh, so that's cool. Look that's at cool that. There's well. a new mixer in town. <laughs> it's uh, the Ninja. We're going to talk about that in a second. But yeah, the No Man's Sky. I'm I, I'm okay with this. It doesn't it doesn't have to be this sprawling like everybody plays on the same server. I'm cool with yeah. four, six, eight. You, it would start getting pretty chaotic pretty quick. The, sure. You know, if you started, I don't even, I mean, the griefing that would probably start going down. So I'm okay with this being yeah. some, and it, if you can get into that hub world and you can kind of have avenues to connect or join games or find games that, yep. or game types that you're looking that you're, for. That you're so, wanting to jump into. Yeah. Um, Baltimore just reinstalled it as well. Yeah, we've all done that. We were all got. We were talking at lunch today. We met up with um, our other buddy Scott, mm-hmm. who um, said he had it installed. So the three of us, right? I know for sure in Baltimore. I don't know if you have this, but the music is still playing. Oh, it's still playing in the background. Get rid of that thing. Jeez. Um, we do have some music in the background. We leave it in there so if people want to enjoy it. At least not hearing us. I'll turn it down a little bit. But. Um, yeah, Scott, and we were talking with him at lunch, and he's got the VR headset for PlayStation 4. He's got the game. Mm-hmm. So we were all talking about, like, okay, the three of us are ready. And, you know, that's how many people do you know around you that have the same game in VR and have VR headsets and everything? We counted, like, four or five. But sure, this yeah. is one of those uh-huh. instances where the game is actually out there and enough. A lot of people have the game, and then... There's that, you know, it would Venn diagram or whatever, right? So, yep. and then of that, all you need is the subset of people that have this popular game that, I mean, a game has been, whether you bought it on launch or that game has been up and down on sales quite a bit. So oh. getting your hands on a copy of this was not tremendously Yeah, I difficult mean, I was able reason. to buy copies of the physical one for like, what, 10 bucks? Yeah, you got me one for like 10 bucks or whatever. For the PS4, yeah. yeah. And I know that I've seen it as cheap as 20 bucks online for digital copies. Right. So maybe yeah. even a little bit cheaper. What do you play it on, Baltimore? Are you on PC with it? Because that would be if you're on PS4. I mean, we're definitely more than looking, merrier. Yeah, at this we're point. looking for people to jump in, play some games. Because I mean, we had a great time. I don't think I know Sarah doesn't have a headset, but it, the good thing is, and I think I you pointed this out. This. It doesn't matter yeah. if you have a VR headset or if you just have the game by itself. Both people can play together. The headset is simply the display. In it's the just matter. the display. Yeah. Now, it'd be nice if it was cross-platform. It's PC is what uh, Baltimore has it on. So, okay. yeah, it'd be nice if it was cross-platform. We could all sit there and play a, a world together or a universe together, I guess. One, one day. One day. One of these days it'll come. Um, but looking forward to that. That's August 14th. So next week, what, uh, 
Wednesday? Is that Wednesday or is that... Uh... Yeah, so I don't know if that means... T- Tuesday night, I, I can't Im- Tuesday. It, I can't imagine that'll be Tuesday night. I got to figure at some point that server will flip Wednesday morning, I would imagine. Good, yeah. Good. So. so Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Be able to play it, check it out. We're excited about it, looking forward to it. And um, congratulations to to Sean Murray and his team for kind of pulling it together. This looks very close to what I think a lot of people had originally, in their mind, thought the game would ultimately end up as. Yeah, Sony does right? in Baltimore. Yeah. So. No, that's true. I mean, it definitely looks like it was supposed to. It, it Even sur- better. Right. So yeah. it's kind of like a kill zone. Kill zone uh, two, two or whatever. Um, so the next thing, yes, we were going to talk about the new appliance uh, Ninja Mixer. Over. I have one of these. You have the exact ha- thing. That's why we chose thing. it. Yeah. That's why we chose it. Um, they did justice in the end. Yeah, they did. They did a good job over there. Uh, but Ninja, we're talking some news while I was gone that was big, and we just figured, eh, we'll cover it regardless. Um Brooks made the point of who watches Ninja anyhow. I, you know, I I will say I don't. I don't I don't get in on bigger streamers. I never really did to begin with. Like I I, I think Doctor Disrespect is funny. I sure. can watch him for a minute. I know who he is. I knew who Ninja was, um, but did not follow over there. Didn't get my free subscription. If you are in the market, you can get a free subscription. What through the end of this month? I'm I think it sure. is to Ninja, or maybe it was through the end of July. I don't know. But they were giving out a free subscription to him, and I right. think that boosted him over a million now. Mm-hmm. Something to that effect. You don't watch him, Baltimore. Do you play Fortnite, Baltimore, on your end? I don't know if I've ever heard you talk about it, but I've never... Well, that's not true. We played Fortnite. We played it when we danced it was with the it a little sandbox, bit. or the, the little uh, builder... Yeah, that it started out. Yeah, we played early access when it was the PVE mode. Yeah. At that point, the whole circle and ring, that wasn't even a part of the game. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah, Baltimore does the same thing. More, more niche kind of streamers like Craig. Craig, I mean, he's been streaming, though, for 11 years, though. <laughs> he's a little bit... He's a, he's a long-term streamer. That's what he is. Well, he's, I, he's known. I was mostly asking out of curiosity. I was trying to understand what the draw was because... What's the difference? I mean, in Fortnite, what's the difference between a fifty thousandth or hundred thousandth or two hundred thousandth? Because I was, yeah, you know. So that was sort of my. That's what I was wondering. Well, I mean, like I said, once I think, I mean, people that read ESPN or, or watch ESPN, they know who he is, right? Right, right. because yeah. he's been on ESPN. I think people like that then transcend out of like what they do and they're more like the celebrity status Uh uh-huh and it's more along the lines of you know what he's doing as his life not i mean the kardashians like they're they're super popular but they got famous for what you know are they still popular oh they're hugely popular yeah they're they're involved they're involved with the president and all that stuff like getting people out of uh they i mean she has some kim kardashian Mm -hmm. has some definitely some um, worthwhile things that she supports now, like you know, working on people getting out of jail earlier for lower level crimes. And she was a part of that criminal justice. Exactly. So yeah, that. she's yeah. doing like real things um, with the world now. But um, you know, that's I think that's ultimately what happens to like Ninja and Disrespect and all those guys. They yeah, they were streamers. They're still streamers, but you know, their platform is larger. So bringing them over to Mixer makes a good deal for. I, I have to imagine, I mean, you figure, I don't know how many, 14 million people he had on Twitch? Yeah. And um, then he kind of rolled them over to uh, to Mixer. Yeah, I think they said so. Well, they didn't, he didn't roll them over, but they expect X amount will follow him over. And even if it's less than a mi- even if it's a million, which he's already got within weeks, he'll be, uh, you know, he'll be there. I might be... I think I believe this stat is correct. I believe it was like three hundred and fifty thousand subs on like the first twenty four hours. Yeah, and then it was a million like by like thirty four or four days, something to that effect. So I mean, for Microsoft that's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, that and Twitch is a little salty. They've uh little, they've already little, little bit taken his page over and now they're like pointing it to other people, which is completely reasonable. I mean, I I get it. Like I, I think that 
if the guy's not going to stream, he said he's exclusively streaming on Mixer. Mm-hmm. He's not coming back to Twitch. That gives Twitch the ability to then, you know, flip it over to be able to advertise for other streamers. I guess. Which helps I, them. You know, the, 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 they're probably not super tiny. They're not niche streamers, but, you know, it helps them grow. You know, that's interesting. I never, when we were talking about our news for today, I hadn't really thought about the ramifications of what you would do on one of these platforms with that large of an audience. Because it's not like twitch.tv slash ninja goes away. That's exactly. That's still a you know, thing. That's still there. For I, sure. had, I had not thought about that. That's, yeah. that's really interesting. And Baltimore makes a good point too. I mean, let's see how many of those Mixer people actually stop subscribing, stop their subscription. Because it is a paid subscription. It's not like YouTube subscription where you just like click subscribe. Right. Which everybody should subscribe to Wild Tangent YouTube right now if you haven't. Uh, do that. And then come back and we'll tell you it's free. You don't have to pay anything. But unlike Mixer, Mixer people are going to be, re- they're going to be charged the next month. Right. For the subscription right. to Ninja's yeah. channel. So good point, Baltimore. Um, in that sense of, yeah, I mean, we'll see how many hang around. And I don't even know what the benefits of Mixer are. I, I used to. Mm-hmm. I used to know that, like, hey, they have a little bit. They give you transcoding, which transcoding was always a big thing on Twitch. Um, that when Mixer was just coming up, they were giving it out. So that, like, if I had a really solid, like, 1080p stream, but your internet sucked and you wanted to watch me, it would, like, chop. It would be very choppy, but if you got transcoding, okay. it would give you the options to like downgrade to like 480p or whatever for your internet bandwidth and all that. So they were doing things like that for free. Cause so I don't even know what a lot of those features are. Remind me what it because they bought what was what was it called before Mixer? It was called something else. Mm. This was like three or four years ago. You and I were downtown. Yes. It was actually even yeah, it was. A, Oh, their UI isn't the greatest. Yeah, probably something they have to work on. Um, yeah, no, you're right. It was like three, four years ago, and it was. They weren't Hitbox. That went somewhere else. That went to like Intel or something. It's fine. It's it's. The, I can't remember. Beam. Beam. That was That's it. What yeah, it was. that was it. Yeah. yeah. Beam. Um, so they rebranded under Microsoft as Mixer. And yeah. Hey, well, more power to them if they can do these deals. Now, I'm sure that we were just talking about Dr. Disrespect. He's the one that really kind of now becomes the top dog on Twitch. But, right. and he's always, you know, not that being second dog on Twitch was bad. <laughs> uh, not, not but being all. top dog, <laughs> you know, he obviously makes, you know, that the benefit is to, to him. But how long before Mixer and Microsoft start kind of, shelling out some money for him or right. you know who knows boogie 2988 maybe these, I don't know. these guys are walking into like smaller streamers these though. guys are walking into athletic level contracts for this stuff this oh, is yeah. this is this is completely bananas to me yep it's a big deal not unpredicted no, but just no. i mean you know whether it's these guys or not dissimilarly you've got like all the all those programmers that play like LOL or Overwatch or whatever, those guys are walking in. I'm waiting to see, for a time when Mixer's like, okay, we're going to sign Disrespect. We'll trade you Disrespect and Ninja at the height of their value for prospects. That will be right? awesome. You know? That will be funny if that happens. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if that's the way? I, I mean, obviously, it's a TV world, so it may be different. But in, in Ninja and in Dr. Disrespect and those guys, they're on their own. They don't have, you know. Sure. They don't have companies representing them, so eh, who knows? Uh, they do have agents, though. I'm pretty sure. I, I oh, I don't. I would expect as much. Yeah, there's a lot of ad revenue tied up. <laughs> Baltimore said Microsoft's going to turn into Epic. Hey, you know what? It's it's quite possible. They're not too many steps away. Consoles love exclusives. Um, let's get out of uh, Ninja and talk about Ducktales. Come and. This is kind of a unique thing because the reason why we wanted to talk about it is digital gaming. Right. Wild Tangent and Gamigo and all those, you know, all of our companies, 
we're very tied into the world of digital gaming, you know, where it's like you download the game, you play the game, and there's obviously the the physical gaming part of the world. And DuckTales Remastered from Capcom was one of those games that kind of sat in the middle. Mm-hmm. They had it on disc when discs were really relevant, you know, in, in terms of PS3, um, in terms of like Wii U, in terms of Xbox. The They also made digital versions of the game. Yep. And the digital version is now going away. Going away for purchase. For purchase, because Capcom has lost the rights. Yep. Or Disney's taken back the the license Mm -hmm. because of the contract running out. And, you know, basically DuckTales is being removed from sale, and you won't be able to get it anywhere beyond what's available in the market, which is going to be the physical discs that are on eBay or wherever they're sitting at. Right. You know, people's collections, things like that. So it does have a sweet price this week. If you want to get it, you can get it for $3.75 yep. on Steam, I know. But at tonight, I believe at midnight, it goes away. Midnight Pacific. And this isn't... It's gone. This is Because the, the ninth, there is no more DuckTales remastered. This is not necessarily a... Like, oh gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? This isn't anything nefarious. This is more like Capcom probably signed some kind of deal for X amount of years. To oh, yeah, it. yeah. I mean, this it was like, like a five or six year deal. <laughs> Taking the mic away. Um, it's like a five or six year deal. Yeah. Right? And, and obviously, yeah, Capcom and Disney didn't do anything wrong here. It's just the way it works. Mm-hmm. It kind of, It's happened in the past. There's Funny enough, um, I quote mad little pixel a lot on uh i like his show what he does for youtube and he talked about delistedgames.com okay so if you go to delistedgames.com you can see every game that's going away that's not around any longer and there are some interested ones so i think you know definitely people i'm going to drop it into chat and if you're curious you can see like what you know what is no longer available in the history of gaming and it's not a bad thing against digital. I'm not making this point because obviously we're in this business. I don't think digital's a problem because if you purchase the game, you can still play the game. Yes. Or you know, re-download this, the game if you, you need to. You can re-download it. This is not like Capcom's pulling it off of Steam or, or PlayStation Taking your copy from away. your copy. Um, it's just one of those things where licensing deals happen. Physical products... You know, really, they're they're still kind of in the market, but the only reason they are is because they're in flea markets and collections and you know yard sales and stuff like that. Because the physical product, it'll it'll get destroyed eventually as well. You were the one that had first clued me into this many years ago when Scott Pilgrim lost the music yes. licenses, which then rolled downhill into well, we don't have the licenses for the music. Yep. How we can't really distribute this game, thus. Yep. It got pulled away, like music with GTA. Yeah, I mean GTA, Vice City. Those those guys, they have a little bit. You know, Rockstar is a little bit more. Like we can go in and do the work to change it. But yeah, they had to go yeah. through and patch the game yeah, to yeah, take yeah. the tracks out. Yeah, but I mean, it's a risk that companies make, and you don't see. I mean, I remember every racing game had like the top chart hits for the period of the year. I'm pretty sure there's one of the early Forza games ran yeah, into yeah, this. Yeah. Maybe one or two had something like they this. Did. Yeah, I think it was also Gotham City had this, and like some of the Need for Speed stuff had this. That's right. Yeah, so, and Tony Hawk, and there's just been tons of them. Okay, Yeah. right, yeah. So this is just something that you have to deal with in the world, you know, licenses get moved. But, you know, the, the idea of like, uh, is it a bad thing? Well, it is in some ways. You know, obviously there could be a, like Alan Wake, there could be a negotiation, and they get the rights back, and then they can distribute it again. Right. Right? So look for this down the road. I'm sure DuckTales will rear its head again somewhere. I don't think, as I put it to what I said to Scott, it's going back in the vault. Right. You know, Disney always had, long before um, we were in digital, Disney had this, you know, Aladdin movie. You know, this is the original Aladdin movie, the cartoon is coming out of the vault and it'll be available for just a summer and then it's going back in the vault and you'll never be able to buy it again or for it'll be gone for 20 years. Right. They were good for this. In this case, I don't think that's true. They're not doing it because of that. But I think that you will see DuckTales 
pop up again somewhere. Right. On on Steam or, or on Wild Tangent or something like that. You know, not not just Wild Tangent, but it'll be everywhere in that sense. So that was kind of another story that we ran into talking about this, retro games. This is a local story. This is a local story. This actually happened. Uh, Scrooge McDust will not rest. He'll want his money. That's right. He will want his, his money. Speaking of wanting money. Wanting money, yeah. These go for a hell of a lot of money. I don't know if anybody knows these. Do you want to explain what this is for people that might not yeah. be super so, aware? So this is known as an NWC cart. And this is from Nintendo's World Championships, where they basically did a tour around the United States. And this was during the time of the, the, um, the movie that they did as well. Mm-hmm. What was that movie called? I can't remember that off the top of my head. The Kid? No. Whiz Kid. Uh, the Wizard. Uh, the Wizard. The Wizard. Yes, That's the it. Wizard. 1989. So this was all during the same time. And there was this big thing where if you went to one of these, there was one in Pittsburgh that I know of. There was one in Seattle we were mm-hmm. talking about. Yep. Um, I went to the one in Pittsburgh. So this was like 1990. And... I was young, teenager, couldn't even drive, and went up there, and you basically got a chance to check out all different Nintendo games coming out, and then they had this thing where it was a competition, and a bench, and essentially they put you on the stage, there was like three people playing each other, or two, I can't remember the exact number, or maybe even seven, um, but you were playing three games, the first one is Super Mario, you got to collect 50 coins. This is the original Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. Um, the second game is Rad Racer, and you've got to race one track. And the third one is Tetris. Yes. And you've got to complete X amount of lines. I can't even remember how many lines it is. Um, essentially, you get points awarded for how fast you do the whole thing. And there were some people that walked away from these different shows with one of these carts because these were what people were playing them on. You got to have the cart from the world championship. I think there, what did we figure? There was 90, 90, of, of, 90 of the gray ones and 26 of the gold ones. 90 sounds low. I thought there was like into the hundreds, but it could okay. be 90. I don't know. I'm, you know, there was a limited amount. And then of the gold, there was a very specific one that was gold. So this isn't the gold one, but this showed up at uh, a local store called Pink Gorilla, downtown Seattle. Not sure which one. There's one in the University District and one in the International District. Mm-hmm. So I don't know which one it showed up at, but a customer randomly brought this in in a bag of like games that he had had in his house and had no idea how much it was worth, which I, I really find that hard to believe that the guy was a collector at one point and he has no idea the value went up on this thing. We were talking about, well, you'd first clued me on this when they had posted it on Twitter, or yeah. like right when it had happened. Yes. And then slowly the news kind of picked this up, and a couple of the news outlets called up the store and they're like, What's the story with this? Yeah. How did this They wanted to know? And, obviously. and they the store was pretty straightforward and they were like, Look, this guy came in straight up with a cardboard box of games. Yeah. Right. It's an interesting way. I mean, the I knew one person that had one of these. I bought a motorcycle off of the guy. So I know, I'm not even sure if he still has it, but I know he had it when I bought it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these things are out there. It's just really hard and hard to find them. And and to Baltimore's point, he's saying like Metal Jesus, another YouTuber, did a video on it. And yeah, it is Kelsey's store. Kelsey and uh, Cody. Cody. Um, They own Pink Gorilla. So this was the second time... um, a, a Nintendo World Championship cart rolled into Pink Gorilla in the past six months, which is crazy. We had talked about this and maybe loosely speculated because their Pink Gorilla is here, Nintendo of America HQ is here. Yeah. There has to be some kind of overlap that we've personally seen a bunch of these things just sort of pop up and down in this area. Yeah, in this area, it's, it's a little more so. common. I, I believe that John Hancock owns one. Yeah. So he's down in like, what is that little area that I talked about uh, where they have the, the game show? Portland? Bend? It's No, it's before Portland. Okay. It's, um, uh, oh, it's slipping my mind, the, the name of the town. But anyhow, he's in Washington. 
I want to... I don't know how many other people around here have them, but I mean, mm-hmm. that's three or four in the same area. If there was only like X90, then, you know, they're spread out across the United States probably evenly in bigger cities, I would imagine. Sure. If you find one, you got a fortune on your hand because I believe the story is they paid him around 13000 And sad. the game probably will go for somewhere between eighteen and twenty, And then they... Maybe fifteen if they knew a buyer. And then, like we speculated. Yeah, they kind of said online that they had a buyer pop up pretty quick, but the buyer kind of wanted to stay quiet, and all they wanted to do was buy it. Don't turn it into a story. Right. Don't talk about the price or whatever. So Yeah. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's one of those things where you never know what happens. But I would hope that uh, the story's true, to, to Baltimore's point. Maybe they made it up. But I'd hope that they, they're good people. They seem like they're good people. I don't know. I know I met Kelsey. I don't know. Mm. Corey or Cody that well, but or I don't. I've never met him, but I have met Kelsey. She seems like a really nice owner, and they have a great store in both locations. So, well, I would imagine they did that and they gave him the money and all that. So I mean, good on them. There, you could imagine a world where somebody walks into a store with a box of games, not knowing what's in it, and is like, I'll "Give you five hundred bucks for that." Yeah, and someone's like, 500 bucks for some old Nintendo games." I'll take it. Sure. Yeah, who yeah, else exactly. is going to give me five hundred bucks for a box of old Nintendo games without knowing? You know that this is worth the small price of a uh, yeah a new a Subaru car. Or, or yeah a used hey. Subaru or whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Throwing it's crazy. Chunk, throwing a chunk of change at your kid's college or something along those lines. That's that, it's ridiculous. It's still nuts to me. Yeah, it's ridiculous yeah. how much this game goes for. And there are actually other games just as valuable. We were looking at uh, what's the other one I was telling you? The Stadium runner events. with the pad. Yeah, we were Bandai, talking about a couple of days ago. Stadium events. That's another big expensive one. Um, not as expensive, but has been around since, uh, roughly the Nintendo days. Kojima. Uh Uh-huh. Big story coming up. I'm traveling to, and the story's not around me, but I'm traveling (laughs) to Gamescom and I'm hoping to see this or at least have some idea because I'm going to be taking footage and all that stuff from the show. But they're going to be playing, Kojima's going to be playing Death Stranding Live. It sounds like it. Yeah. At Gamescom. It sounds like it is part really of this cool. opening night ceremony. It sounds like Jeff Keighley's involved, so naturally he's here. Yeah, they're thick as thieves. Right. Yeah. So when one is, the other one's hiding around the corner. I'm I'm quite curious about this. Part of me doesn't want to watch because I at this point I just want right. You don't want it to I get just, ruined for yourself. And I just want to play. The chances that I don't watch this are precisely zero exactly right at this point you will definitely check it out i know that but and you know there's nothing wrong with checking it i mean obviously they're not going to play any spoilers because kojima wouldn't do that i don't think i i am no way in hell to agree with you yeah yeah so i think that it's probably going to look very similar to the footage we've seen already Mm -hmm. right so i think you're safe yeah i would definitely check it out yeah, this will... At least to see what's going on. You know, not saying that I'm the number one candidate for the, for the game. I'm not I'm not jump up and down waiting for this game, but mm-hmm. I would play it, mm-hmm. obviously, and I'll, I'll definitely, you know, want to see what it's about. But, um, you know, they've got to really promote the hell out of it because funny thing is rumors going around, you've been talking about it, that Man, maybe the game's bouncing... It's not just exclusive to Sony now, maybe. So so the story here was that there are various sections of Sony's website, and this is now this This is rumor alert. This is we have now charted into rank speculation. Yeah. I almost um, feel like Keemstar, like drama <laughs> alert's gonna have to start taking he, off on the show. He is on stage streaming something related to the game. Um, but then Sony kinda started to they have various aspects of their website where they're like this game's exclusive whether it's spider-man or god of war and for the longest time death stranding had been a part of this and this is like banners and art this is kind of some lower level stuff right this isn't you know and then just between you know some of that art changed and then some of the things on the store changed and then it's like well is it exclusive to PlayStation, does that mean exclusive to PlayStation 4 because there's a PlayStation 5 one? Does that mean this is coming to PC? Does that mean 
they cut some deal with some other store yeah. and it'll be on PC, right? So there's just sort of been this rumor mill and everyone's kind of pointing to this thing on the 19th to like, we know when it's coming, which is November yep. 8th. From there, the internet has really decided to run with this one and now it's all based on, so a couple of years ago or a few years ago, back when he was before Kojima Productions was a thing, somebody right. was interviewing him and was like, what platform would your next game be on? And he kind of, he's got a comment where it's like, I would like the game to be available on PC. And I think yep. it was, and I think it was somewhat kind of offhanded. And the point of the comment was he's never made a game for PC really up until, Truly, yeah. up until Metal Gear had five had gotten ported over. Right. Right. So I think that's where some of these, I'm not even where the, the where the rumor kicks off, right, kind of thing. And then the subreddit got involved, and those people are, you know, that's that. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh no, I mean, you know, we were talking about it, and I, you know, I'm a big believer in like when marketing starts to like tear away exclusivity. That just means that they're getting ready to talk about it in a broader sense. They've got a brand new console coming out next right. year. They don't. They know the game's going to launch this year. Fingers crossed, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's not only going to be on PS4. It'll be playable on PS5. Minimum. Minimum, if not day one. Right. Within a very short period of time after that. Right. People are going to want to do. They did it with um, Last of Us. They're going to do it with all their big games. God of War three. You know that got poured over. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, however it works out, it's going to happen. So I think, and especially since there's other games that are coming close to this, right. that are having that pulled off as well, right. I think it's the Sony marketing team saying, well, we can't say it's exclusive to PlayStation 4, right? and we don't want to really like let the cat out of the bag, although it's been out for a while, of the PlayStation 5, right? right? and when it's coming. So let's just kind of get out of this business. It's a PlayStation exclusive is probably what you'll see the branding as. And I think it'll still stay there because I can't see Sony giving the money and then somebody coming in and saying, oh, we'll give you that money back because you're not going to make a billion dollars off of this, right? And it's it just doesn't make sense. It's a, really, it's a ridiculous kind of so, de- you, thought. You, yes. You know, someone had asked me, this is kind of outside of the office, and I was like, well, you know, they own Gorilla. The game is built on Gorilla's yep. Decima engine. They gave it to him. Right. So then the the game is I I'm not clued into the inner workings of how this agreement was formed, but he's got this kind of autonomous independent studio that is still aligned with Sony. Yeah. So I'm inclined to agree with you. It seems to me that it would be a lot of wasted effort for the past few years for them. Sure. For nothing. And if, if it comes down to it, and it is on PC, the, hey, the more the merrier. Oh, yeah. I right? mean, we're not arguing so. the fact that it's it shouldn't be exclusive. Right. It should be everywhere. I'm more or less just saying Sony's not one to let stuff go like that. Not, especially not this big of a game. Yeah. To, I mean, to them, this is, this is I think... This, this is a system seller. I think this is probably their biggest game this yeah. year, right? It's got so much hype around it. <laughs> I could be completely wrong on this, but I, I don't see them doing that because they're not that kind of company. They're smart. They know right. how much this is worth. They know how much it'll be worth for PS5. Right. You know, obviously, it's not going to be, like, packed in with people. Well, I don't know. Maybe it could be, but... Um, but they know it'll be able to push systems. Right. As well as other big titles. So, you know, it'll be interesting to watch. We've only got like a week or so till we hear something maybe from uh, a little bit over a week. I've been waiting. Till we this. hear something from Gamescom. I've so. been waiting for this game for like, I don't know. I remember when you walked down the stage like four years ago yeah. at E3 and I was like, don't know what that is. Don't care. Probably in. So yeah. I think we're down to like 90 something days. Well, this comes out, makes a good so. point. At least he doesn't have Konami breathing down his neck this time. He knows he's got to prove himself with this one. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a good game. I, I don't discount that. I, It'll probably be so confusing 
just like how everything he does is. But I mean, that's not a diversion. That just means it's probably good and it's probably doing the right thing. (laughs) I would, I would love for this to be like a survival adventure game and not, you know. I don't need to have another game with guns. Yeah. Right. I yeah. mean, I, I kind of want to. No guns. I, I'm I'm kind of curious to see what else, what else they can do. Yep. So, uh, let's jump to our game. So we're gonna yep. we're gonna play our first game of the night, which is gonna be. And I just noticed Brooks is out of whack because I had the monitor moved a little bit. I just saw your nose. Kind of I've like been trying way. to nudge in, but the arms only go so far. Push your chair down. Push your arm down. Um, that's what I do. The arms. I actually moved the whole chair down. Oh. A little bit. Uh, But we're going to play Silver Chains. Silver Chains is a horror game. Brooks is going to navigate us through this one. So let's get that up and running. Give me one sec. This is, this was kind of, I know news ran a little bit long. Well, we hadn't talked about news for two weeks. So Um, we drug up some stuff from old and new and all sorts of things. But yeah, this is the game we were talking about that's got, it looks like maybe there's some outlast in here there's some amnesia yes. they if you go to their steam page they talk about resident evil being an influence silent hill being an influence yeah they, so. they named uh they named a whole horde it was basically like the best things go into my recipe and then at that point they made the game which you know granted for for development um it's not in early access as far as i know it's done um it looks great and we played a little bit of it and uh, had a chance to see. And the game is, the one thing I love is very little UI, very little HUD. Big um, fan. Big fan of that. Always have been. We've, we've loved things like Dead Space and all those games for years. So, yeah, you were driving a Model T. Or, I don't know, maybe a Ford. Uh, Was. Uh, yeah, I mean, it couldn't have been going that fast, really. Let's be honest. <laughs> This is uh, no seat belts either. So you know, as as we're walking along here, this is uh, I'm a super big fan of just in general horror slash survival horror games. Yeah. So I'm I'm particularly curious. I'm I remember talking to you many years ago when we both started here and VR was kind of picking up and I was oh, like, yeah. and I was like, ah, oh, dude, horror games in VR are just going to be absolutely off the chain. Yeah. We had like a lot of discussions around that. Yeah. So, um, this one is not in VR. No. But the discussion was a lot around like VR is the perfect experience and we played a couple good ones. I, yeah. And I'm, I really like the, when, when you're playing these, I don't even want to call them necessarily survival horror, but just horror games, they really pull you out of your comfortable element and kind of force you to deal with this. Like Far too often, we, you can run your way out, or you can shoot your way out, or right. you can health pack your way out. So it's it's one of gets easier if you go through and you've got all the best weapons and you can and you can farm XP in your super god mode and so it it definitely changes the horror aspect of the game yeah for sure but it's 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 so there back to back to the the developer what there's there's spooky games that inspired them so the game is from uh, cracked head game. I, I cracked heads game. Yeah. I said crackhead games uh, earlier when we were talking about, but the publisher is head up and this game, uh, the developers specifically call out that they were inspired by layers of fear and layers of fear Two, which you can feel that right away. I mean, it definitely has that sense of like the walking experience mm-hmm. um, resident evil series. Cause they pay homage to resident evil directly. We found that in there already. Yep. Um, we'll probably see that shortly. We'll see that shortly. Dead by Daylight, which I I kind of didn't see that yet. It's not a multiplayer game. As far as I'm aware, it's single player only. Um, which is what their page says and our page, yep. you know, our page says and everything. No. So no. how maybe just Dead by Daylight in terms of like the intensity? But then they also say Outlast and Outlast 2, which we can definitely see that. In definitely. Time. So, yeah. and that's got a hell of a lot of intensity. So, I mean, I, who knows? Maybe they're just fans of Dead by Daylight. Uh, then they've got Slender and Slender Arrival, which uh, I kind of can see that a little bit as well. Right? 
and then the Silent Hill series, which I kind of thought is interesting that they said Silent Hill because, you know, there's it's not difficult to like make that stretch. I mean, a lot of people like the idea of like weird creatures and things like that. Who knows? But yeah, I mean, I, I like all of the stuff that they just said, so we were expecting good things from it. Yeah, because uh, what was the? I think the last. Yeah, more immersion's always better. Ball. I think the last survival horror game I really got into. Well, because we played Resident Evil Two, and then before that, I got really into Evil Within Two. You'll recall that yes. I was beating the Evil drum Within on that two pretty was hard. A game, yeah, yeah, they um they did a really good job. So in here, you should find that. I need scissors. Yeah, the um, the dead or sorry, um, Evil Within Two. That game, I love that one as well. Mm -hmm. I thought you know they did a great job. They came from Evil Within, which was a good try. Yeah, I think that they had kind of the. I mean, the beginning of it was amazing. Yeah. And it kind of changes on you, and you're like, oh, a little bit, yeah. I'm not so sure. Even within two, they did a really good job, uh, kind of bringing that back around, making it work. Yeah. I think you can go through that other door, go through the bathroom. Is there another door in here that I missed? <sighs> okay. Uh, oh, Baltimore was saying he was playing Dead by Daylight. So, Dead by Daylight, do you, do you play uh, Friday the 13th, Baltimore, by chance? Very similar game. Okay, it's like, what, 7v1 on Friday the 13th, and Dead by Daylight is 5v1? Yeah. You know more about these than I. I haven't actually played either, Well, even though I should have. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think Friday the 13th is well worth playing. I know Dead by Daylight's great as well, so... Um, I've got both. Agree with all more playing Dead by Daylight for sure. But Friday the Thirteenth, they just launched that on Switch. Funny enough. Okay. So the Switch just got it, and actually, it has in-game chat built into the console. Built. You don't need the phone. Is that game level or? Yep. Okay, got it. So yeah. you can be in the game and you can you don't need to have this you phone. You have to have a app. headset of some sort. So you have to have one that plugs into the Switch so via the 2.5 millimeter jack okay. or you need to have one that plugs into the USB if it's in the console mode. But they have like a game type yes. of solution. And okay, you can cool. talk and we're within proximity. You can talk and then like you can have walkie-talkies and talk. It's kind of cool. I always see it as they um, cuz they always go through and they've been adding all of the the who's who of the yeah, enemies well, Dead from Dead by the, Daylight does the same thing. Yeah. Right? They bring the, 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 the characters. I think, what, Baltimore, you'd know. What was the last Dead by Daylight character? The one from Scream? Ghostface. Ghostface, maybe. Yeah. That might have been. Um, but yeah, I think they even have Freddy Krueger. Okay. See, they got him on that, too. It's been a while. But yeah, so, funny enough, we were just, as we're playing through that, I'm just thinking, like, I've heard a lot of people talking about... Friday the Thirteenth as well. That um, right. people are getting back into it because the because there was a whole weird licensing thing that went on with it as well, and developer mm -hmm. and all that. But um, it's now on Switch, so you can sit there and play that. But and I probably imagine like Silver Chains will move to Switch as well. I wouldn't doubt it or consoles because this game it's got quality in it. I mean the textures, graphics look good. You know, like I said, it's got a little bit of. It does. It does have that look and feel of like Resident Evil. Like especially seven when yeah, you're in the so houses. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Another, another oh, in Dead by Daylight, they have a few licensed killers. The pig from Saw, Mike Myers. That's Freddy right. That's Lights. right. The the pig mask from the. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know about the Saw effects. I say this without necessarily trying to brag about it. I have seen all of the Saw movies at this point. Yeah. So like yeah. Fast and the Furious. Yeah, I've seen all. <laughs> I've seen all those too. 
at this point we sort of made a sport out of it now we just kind of see him in the theater just because we've seen all the previous ones so so if you if you've been watching brooks play here and, and we can full screen it for a bit him just go to full screen this. Um, if you watch brooks play for a minute you'll notice like the lantern in the lantern and the age and the time frame, it definitely has that amnesia feel to it. Mm -hmm. Right? That's that's where I get that right away from when we saw that lantern we were talking about. It looks so close to it. And they've, obviously the game takes place in the 20s, 30s is my guess. That's what we were talking about, Somewhere yeah. There. Um, obviously a car's wrecked, we're at a house, we're trying to get out of the house. It's going to be the uh, the main part of the story, but it's definitely got a great atmosphere in it. It's, uh, it's, it seems like it's a solid beginning to it, and again, the game's not in uh, early access. It's actually a full release, so it's kind of nice. Mostly positive uh, reviews, which is uh, pretty good. Off to a good start, Off yeah. Off to a good start. You know, obviously, they can always do better things to help increase... Uh, Um, kind of like wood. A locket? A locket, okay. So I got a necklace and a fire poker, neither of which seem to do a tremendous amount right now, especially to locks. Yeah, this is very much like you're talking about, Baltimore. This, this is kind of like in the vein of like Mist or Riven, where you've got to like find the thing that unlocks the thing that, you know, but then there's this intensity to it because you're being chased in some points. I'm not trying to give much away, but. There's a reason why it feels like Outlast, or the, the developers like Outlast as well. I think if you cut, if you turn around, head back in there, you're not hearing it, but um, Baltimore and everybody watching probably is, that record player's playing. So there's there's a what they call it? the Victrola. Where's the record player? Go through that door right there. Victrola. There you go. Yeah, that's the bad thing is we don't hear the audio, so uh, Brooks wouldn't have heard that cue where I had actually played through this part to be. See that? So that door is now open. There you go. Oh, okay. Well, that's how the door the doors unlock in my house. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes well, that know, makes the, sense, right? Yeah, you know, the neighbor plays the Victrola too loud. You tell him to turn it down. A door opens. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, search around a little bit. Kind of a Silent Hill esque part here. Yeah, you know, this is also somewhat familiar to, or somewhat reminds me of uh, back when PT was a hit. There, after that demo experience, whatever you want to call it, came out, there were a few kind of imposter PTs oh, yeah. that tried to yep. sort of, because that demo, I mean, it was this weird little hit kind of thing that came of it. I'm getting a little of that in here as well, right? Where yeah. you're you're in here. I'm just thinking the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's not like the the um, layers of fear, layers of fear two are very well. Layers of fear for sure is very much a PT like style game. Okay. So that's where I kind of like get like okay, maybe right, you know, and I think you can mess with that graph one more time. What'd you end up getting out of that piece of paper? Yeah, like a little... Well, there was this, like, boat thing, and then it said kids play in the kitchen. Okay. So... so head back over this way. Time to make something to eat. Yeah, I, he said, let's play. I saw this. Oh, oh, okay, this so different. now it changes. Okay. Great. There we go. And it's got that whole thing of, like, you can turn stuff around, like the, the Resident Evil days. Mm -hmm. Shut down. Now, I don't know if you'd 
catch me sticking my appendages through like holes in the wall in a, in a spooky house. No, no. This was an interesting mechanic. You see how it's like kind of a mechanic, but it's just like, oh, keep it within the boundary. So close. So close. <laughs> Tonight on Amateur Hour. I know we keep the uh, sensitivity too uh, too too low. That's uh, that's we what need, that's like, the, the Twitch factor. That, that's what it was definitely. Yeah. Okay, so I have the key. Oh, you yeah, I, wa I want to go check on something real quick before we start just willy-nilly opening doors around here. Just run like hell through the whole place. Um, yeah, no, not those, Baltimore, not those types. Let's see here. Oh, that's bricked off. It was bricked off when, we, when, oh, we, when okay. we walked that's... through here the first time, yeah. Because I kind of skated around the, well... There's another lock. I didn't go back when I did it. It's got some interesting... I, I know that there's in the background, you know, for, for everybody watching is obviously hearing it, but there's some interesting dialogue that happens with ghosts. Right. You know, that, that you're hearing, so... Um, it's got the creep factor for sure. Like playing this in the dark, yeah, you know, this is, you know, if you watch any streamers on Twitch, I know Baltimore and I, big fan of that, bro. You can see a lot of people getting jump scares left and right. Right. And this game looks like it's got a plethora of jump scares. Okay. So that was kind of a Resident Evil move I pulled there. I always try and... Backtrack a little. Backtrack a little just to make sure that... Is that, that door... Wait, go back one. That door to the... Does that have a lock on it? Okay. That one's just a fake... Just there to catch you off guard. But you were backtracking to see, like, oh, did I... Just to make sure... Just to make sure all bases are covered before we start moving forward a little bit. It's definitely got the Resident Evil, like, mansion feel to it. It does. You know, it's, or what a disheveled mansion. It does feel a lot like Seven. Yeah. Which I was a huge fan of. They got great shadow effects going on. I mean, they did. They did their work. You know, it's not just Unity assets, which is what I was worried about sometimes. Sometimes you get a little bit nervous seeing some games, and you're like, oh. But this one, this one definitely has. I've watched some people streaming it too. On Steam. Can you play in VR? No, there is no VR. No VR in this. No. Okay. I'm, I know it's like a perfect candidate. I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, this would be That's kind of what's running through my mind as I'm walking around. Yeah, I know. It would be perfect for that. Um Oh no, we won't be doing Yeah. We were talking about that Baltimore. It, I can't stream. Where I live, um, we would do that on No Man's Sky. We were, we were definitely going to record. We this were session. talking about this at lunch today, actually. Uh, but Scott can and, and essentially Brooks could stream it. So I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's an option there. But uh, we were definitely going to record it and then have it on YouTube, not on Wild Tangents YouTube. Sorry. I know you're asking just in general, but um, uh, yeah. So that's it's definitely going to be something we're going to be doing to uh, to kind of talk about No Man's Sky while we play it. Yeah, I'm pretty certain we're all going to be jumping on Wednesday. Yeah, as soon night. as it fires off, I mean, I'll be on. I'll prob we'll I will probably just leave my machine on in rest mode that day and kick off the theme to make sure I grab the update. 
from the office. Oh, yeah. I wonder, there probably will be some kind of, like, patch update or something. You know, what would be neat is, and I, this, I have no idea if they're doing this, I'd be all about that thing where they, to stop everyone from having to download it, like, that night, do a thing of, like, you know, we can preload it, like, Monday or whatever, and then yeah, it unlocks, nice. that, um, which, nice. which I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I mean, we've got a couple games coming up that are going to be already... Well, Borderlands 3 will be like that, you know, more like And that's not even... It's a month away. That's on the 13th. Yeah. Away, yeah. Then we have Control at the end of the month. Yep. We're going to... We're playing... We grab that Remnants... What's it? Lot... Ashes? Lot... Yeah, the the uh, Dark Souls... Soul, souls, souls with loot and guns or something yep. like that? Yeah, we've got that. No Man's Sky. August went from quiet to loud yeah yeah for sure yeah it's gonna be several gigs more than likely i i don't know if it'd be much more than a few because they're probably doing like i don't know i mean for vr do they have to do new all new assets fallout did fallout 76 and skyrim did it i'm looks more like those than i those. don't technically know enough about it from like an yeah. engineering standpoint it's gonna be interesting to see i'm you know if it ends up being like a 30 gig download that's gonna suck for me because again back into my internet is it's not i mean the download is you can live with it it's like 20 down but um on you know the uh the world of streaming from my place is too hard it's just so crappy uh remnant from the ashes that's it yes yes we we both pre-ordered that so. yeah right on board and ready to go looking forward to it yeah that's it that's quite you know five out of ten (laughs) (laughs) yeah you never know i mean there's gonna be some games where you're like take a risk on it yeah i was uh i'm i was very much looking forward to uh, control from remedy at the end of the month and then i was kind of like well we didn't have i didn't have anything i wanted to play until then and then we stumbled into this remnant game and we were kind of like, well, gosh, anytime they talk about souls plus our ears, like, you know, turn in a little yeah, bit. There's a little bit of like, mm. hmm, <laughs> yeah, that, that, it, it, in, in, that's kind of the, uh, oh, probably five to 10 gigs. Gotcha. <laughs> I, thought <you> were <laughs> I thought you said it was going to be a five out of 10 game. I was like, man, he's hard on us hard on us here um no uh the update size yeah probably five to ten i could see that because again if they have to do all new assets they're not going to be 4k quality so it's not going to be that they're p quality if you're lucky more like 720p usually yeah right um but yeah anytime somebody says uh dark souls always piques our interest so this one I don't know. We'll see. I've never, you know, there was that Dark Souls VR game. That one with, like, the angel. I what it was called. Oh, gosh. I never tried it, but I'm, I'm surprised I asked. This is the, the, the one with the house. Yes. Uh, it starts with a D. Yeah. De- De- no, no, that's the, that's the, that's the actual game from software. That's what from I was software. talking, what were you the talking about? The one I'm talking about was some kind of, like, Dark Souls-esque VR oh. angel bow yes. kind of game. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, any Souls games pique your interest as well. Well, yeah, same thing. I mean, we're definitely all. Oh, and here comes the uh, the Resident Evil homage. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, anytime there's a Dark Souls game, I'm all for it. But yes, there was a From Software VR game. I not the same. I can't. Remember. I know what you're. I know exactly what you're talking about now. But. There's also the uh, this one that's like a play as an angel. It looks, like. and it's got the the death loop and yes. the challenging yeah. difficulty and the it's pulling really and difficult. the yeah. Making games in VR difficult is always interesting. I mean, respect to, to Brooks here. He did play Resident Evil Seven the whole way through in <laughs> VR, which. It alone is like a feat just in terms of the amount of time you've got a headset with like glass two inches from your or an inch from your eye heating up your brain. Right. 
Daracene. Daracene. Is the game. Yeah, Baltimore just put that in. That's the From Software VR yes. game, yes, correct? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, having stuff that close to your head is lo- is hard enough. But yeah, playing the game all the way through, and there are some challenging points because even though Resident Evil Seven was made had VR support, it wasn't necessarily made as a VR game first. Yes. Right. It, right. it didn't have motion controls. You know, you had the you had the controller that you used, and, and some of that gets a little wacky. I'm right, sure. a couple of those boss fights where you're you're doing you're some having to like of swing your this. camera around, yeah, around. yeah, it's a tough. We should be coming up on a good point where we can uh, go over to our other game, God's Trigger, which is a top-down. I would call it like a twin stick action adventure local co-op Miami Heat ver- or uh, my Hotline Miami meets um, meets like God of War or not even that like Hotline Miami meets uh, yeah, kind of like a God of War. no. Fan. No, no, no. Not God of War. What am I thinking of? What's the... Uh... Hotline Meets God of War was the game that was on sale that yes. we pinched What's the other day. What's the one day? that um, I played that I always talked about was kind of like God of War from EA? The Divine Comedy. Uh, anyhow, Dante's Inferno. Come yes. Um, so what you just saw there was more like what Brooks was playing through was kind of like the outlast component of it. There's this mother looks like Slenderman with a bad hairdo Mm -hmm. and um, she's chasing you and in periods throughout the game gets a little intense so you gotta do some hustling to find a hiding spot or get away. I thought I was in a hiding spot. You were but I think you gotta press the so you gotta kind of run there. She sees you and then you huff it a little bit. Just kind of stand still. You'll see her kind of crossing. So this is more like the Outlast one. And Outlast, if anybody has not played that one, is it's got a hell of a lot of jump scares. Like mm-hmm. really so you should also play that one if you haven't played. It. If you if you like this, you'll love that. Which is funny. Somehow, I've played very little Outlast. Which is strange considering to play con- considering how big of a fan I am of playing survival horror games. Yeah, or we're going to have to have some horror games in general. Holiday where we play, or Halloween where we play yeah. more core scary games. Yeah. Um, but I think this is a good spot to go ahead and make our transition over. So uh, this, again, Silver Change just came out. It's, I think it was available yesterday, 8 Six. No, yeah, eight six is when it came out. I yeah, think. we had it on the front page on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, it's on the front page. Yeah, August sixth is when the game deployed. So let's jump over. We're gonna jump us over cool. here. Let me close. This you drive. Down. I'll take player two on this one. Yeah, I'll uh, get that set up. Give us one second. We're gonna jump over and we're gonna do a little bit of God's trigger and let everybody check that out. But yeah, so Divine Comedy, Dante's Inferno is what it reminded me of. Okay. In that. Um, especially in this story, not in the top down, like two, you know, uh, twin stick shooter style, but, um, it definitely has that look and feel to it. We're going to jump over here, start that up. It's got some good music to it. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Not that the music is, is a little bit louder than most. So one of us gets to play a angel and one gets to play a demon. I thought you were saying one of us has the guns and one of us has the flashlight. No. So. That was, uh, that was really <laughs> um, The mic is cut. Oh. My mic was cutting out because I was coughing. Sorry. And I had muted it earlier. And then for some reason, our mic, this one specifically, you press it and it sometimes mutes and sometimes doesn't unmute. So I've got to keep an eye on that. Sorry. Thanks, Baltimore. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to flip the camera over. So let's see. Obviously, we're going to experience something bad. 
Is it going to go? There we go. Techland. So we got Techland on board. Um, they brought over their catalog. So we've got uh, Day, uh, Dying Light launching soon too as well. And all of the DLC and everything, which will be pretty fun. Because we both played a hell of a lot of Dying Light and it's a great game. All right, yeah, we've played a tremendous yeah, amount. For sure. So let's see here. We've got... I think our settings are all set. I checked those. Let's jump in. There's a new arcade mode. You can play online co-op with this, which is kind of nice. Okay. Um, but we're going to do local. And let's see. Are we we're all set up? Yep. Go ahead and check this out. So choose a controller for Harry. I'll do Harry. You're going to do Judy? Sure. You got the demon with the gun, I think. Should give us a little bit of a story of what's going on. But essentially, we're fighting our way from hell, or purgatory, to heaven. Kep. All yes. right. One's an angel, one's a demon. Harry's the angel, I take it, and Judy's the demon. Angel and a demon. She looks like she wears the black leather. It's fine with me. Dying Light was a great game. Yes. By far. I um, I was always really impressed with the uh, the work they put into that. That's another one where it kind of felt like they were taking the No Man's Sky approach. Like, they didn't give up on the game. They kept adding in new stuff. Although the game was great from the beginning. But, I mean, it was like... They, they just kept adding more and more to it. Oh, the DLC list is pretty considerable I have, now. I have played so much. I've played so much Dying Light. I love that game. I can't wait for two. Oh, the, ba oh, the Dying Light... Um, oh, jeez. I already died. I probably wasn't paying attention. Got me. I was talking. There we go. Um, I was trying I never, to kill everything yeah, to no. make sure that we were. I haven't tried the uh, the battle royale for Dying Light. Neither so, neither have I. I've only played all the areas and run around. We've done quite a bit of co op. Yeah. So we for were, everybody here, we've got the right triggers, our melee. You've got your twin stick controls. Yeah, I've got this God of War looking. What are they called? The the oh, blade or whatever blade of the chaos those, or whatever. Yeah. So we'll try to work as a team here, I guess. And it's got that hotline Miami like surprise approach to it. Like they'll come after you to kill you, and if you don't kill them fast enough, they're gonna get the jump on you. Can you lock on? I don't think you can. I don't think there is a lock so on. So you approach them from behind, you can get a stealth kill with Y. There okay. is a stealth kill, yep. This game looks sweet. Yeah, it plays really well. I mean, it's... I was curious... Uh, there we go. I was curious... Um, I wasn't... It was my fault because I wasn't ready. There we go. Nice. There, it said something about dashing with Harry. I did not catch yeah, that. Yeah, so right... Our, your bumper, right bumper. Oh, and I have like and a And you blank. can go through walls. So I can bust through that, and you can actually like... There'll be a point up here. Oh, you got me. There'll be a point coming up where you'll need to... Oh, I think we go through this again. Yeah, this is where you teleport. So I, I must be able you to go through You can move this. these. Yeah. And I think you can mm. pull that lever. So there's a little bit of working together with the, within the game. Just leave you Which is kind of nice. Leave you behind. Exactly. Okay. It's just... Nobody wants to be left behind here. Um... So let's go ahead and. Uh, uh. Oh man, he got the jump on me again. Sorry, I think I got us all killed there. I thought. Well, I guess you could zip in through the wall and then I could bust through here. <sighs> Triple kill. He killed me though. Here we go. There. Nice. Clean house. I wasn't sure when you'd originally said um, that there was some hotline in here, which I'm a huge fan of. I love both those games. And then kind of that whole... I don't know if they were the first to really... You can break some boxes, too. I don't know if they were the first to do that kind of style of game, but definitely that was first time They were unique knowledge. in that sense. Yeah. They. Yeah. I mean, they made... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. 
caught me. Oh, I'll wait for you. Okay, you gotta hustle. Ah, I got caught behind the wall. Uh, I'd go mm. without me. <laughs> I did this without any problems before. Oh, right at the end. Well, at least in a spot where I could be saved. But yeah, so I wasn't sure how. Here, we'll do full screen. I wasn't sure how brutal the enemies would be, but they'll they'll take a swing and they'll knock you down. Oh yeah, it's a one hit kill. Yeah, kind of scenario. So definitely, Hotline Miami, solid game. If you ever get a chance to play it, if you haven't played it, you should. Oh my god, this guy is just wiping me out. Press X to pick up a weapon. Yeah, so we should be able to get. So you can pick up. Okay. There we go. So you can pick up. Load up a little ammo. Okay. And you can't use your melee. Oh boy, I like this. What's this thing? Oh, you can throw some swords. I'm gonna grab some weapons. Okay. To kill enemies, you gain energy. You can be spent activating special abilities. L3. Okay. You got one and two from Twitch Prime. Oh, they gave away Hotline Miami 1 and 2. Those are solid games. Oh, of course, I was just standing there. Wow. Not noticing they were dropping that. Okay. Here. Uh, you step on it? Yep. And Good. then... If you step off, it goes away. Oh. Okay. Wow. I thought maybe I could just blink through, but... Wow. Yeah, so on. one of us must have a special oh. ability that's like... I screwed that up because you could have got in and then I could have stepped off the damn thing. So one of us must have like... I Okay, so you've got your circle, so let me step on this. Your ability must be like bullet time to slow it down or something. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, you got a shield. Okay. Oh. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Had a shield. Press... To use the ability... Okay, hold on. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Oh, and Autumn is Chef. Oh, did they give that away on Twitch Prime? Damn, we are just... Jesus! Okay. No, no fooling around. Okay, step on it. We good? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, shield. They're not shooting me. Can I get around... <sighs> You you have a there's like, oh I've got to get around them over here that's what it is there's a when you use the ability there's a blue ring that deteriorates rather quickly gotcha. around you yeah. let's try this one more time we know what we're doing all right go there we go <laughs> it's so simple just need to keep going that's all it was Baltimore you're right okay. Uh, let's see. Press and hold the... Uh, oh, this is yours. Press and hold. Aim with R and release with L. Oh, so you have like some super shot or something. I can mind control people. Climb. Oh. Press and hold. Oh, yeah. Do that now and get that guy with the gun. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. Oh, jeez. I'd say grab the guy with the gun if you can. There you go. Triple kill. <laughs> I'm sure that there's an announcer voice in the background. If there isn't, there should be. Alright, let's see here. So you can hold L2 and you can aim your gun, it looks like. Instead of just freehanding it with the stick, you can totally... Hold or L1, sorry. Oh, L1. LB. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, there's something that we've got to do to open this door. You want to just shoot it? It got to work. Hmm. Oh, maybe you have to mind control somebody to have them go open a door. I don't think I have enough meter to do it. If I press L2 right now, my she doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, what are we looking at here? Did we miss something? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Can't turn that back on. Nope. And my in my ability is just invisibility. And I can't even like hit mine either because it's like, yeah, you need so to. So if you hold LB, you can look around and then you can mark targeted enemies. Okay, so we'll gotcha. do, do that. I think you're gonna need to grab a couple or something. However that works. How'd you uh, mark them? R three. R three. Wow, what a combination. So I think there's that dude right there above him. Mark him. Okay. Oh, I got that guy. Stop them. Nice. Oh, okay. So this totally works like... The syringes will allow us to revive each other. So this works... So that mark thing works like... Oh, gosh. This works like mark and execute from Splinter Cell Conviction. Oh. You remember that from back oh, in the day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you, you can mark these cats, walk into the room, and press the button, and it'll just... And you just wipe them out as you go, yeah. As opposed to free aim and the yeah. whole thing. Okay. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Let's see. Amount of energy required. Use different special abilities. Varies. Killing enemies to charge the ability bar. I imagine... This gets rather frantic once you start getting two players, two abilities, lots yeah, of kills. I'm thinking that as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm just swinging when I walk through doors. <laughs> oh, there's a whole group. Maybe you can mind control and take him out, or have him take everybody out. Oh, they're coming. No. <laughs> oh. <Wow. laughs> Little late on that one. Okay, you get over there and do that. You be bait. Okay. Here, boys. Oh, oh sorry. Well, thanks. Wow. <laughs> Frantic is the best way to go. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I survived at well, least. Yeah, 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 there we go. My 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 head is gone, but I'm fine. Um, yeah, it's it's the best possible way. So, okay, we're, we're climbing the stairs to get out of purgatory, too, so. No, no, no. Making progress. You know, that was always one of the things about Hotline, is that you're playing it, but you're you're playing it alone, so you're kind of if in full control of the board. In this one, with that added second player, there's a little more, uh, things go off the rails. Yeah, a little right? bit. For sure. And this one's by developers. One more level. Techland Publishing is the p is the uh, publisher for. So, very positive rating on it though. And it's on sale too. Ten dollars. We have it for yeah nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Members get it for eight ninety nine. Oh, okay. So now skill, you can start skill, upgrading things. Skill trees. As you level up, you can unlock upgrades. The ability you can press one, only one upgrade from each unlocked row. Remember, you can always change selected upgrades before starting a level. Oh, okay, so that's kind of nice. You get the upgrade points, but you can always adjust it. Yep. Okay. Leveling up will also unlock new special abilities. Now select an upgrade for your first special ability. I'm going to go with uh, movement speed. Range is good. Um, what's that one cost? Do cost, actually. I'm going to do speed range of weapon. Oh, thanks, Baltimore, for throwing the um, the link in the chat on both. I forgot to do that earlier. For anybody new that's joined, we are playing God's Trigger, and we did play Silver Chains, which mm -hmm. deployed earlier this week on the 6th. And you can get both of them. They both have a discount on them as well. So I think Silver Chains is... 
if you're, if you're a WoW member, it's pretty cheap. It's actually below anybody else's membership that I've seen price. Okay. So are we good? Signed, yes. Yeah, just press start. Back to menu. No. Wait, what did I just exit us to? You backed us out. Why? I, I think it was asking. Ah, press gotcha. start. Okay. Yeah. So where do we were in this one? Now we're in this I think one. so. Yeah. That was my fault. Uh, do you want to be Harry on this one? I'm cool to be the woman still. Okay. Yeah, we'll switch off later. Yeah, yeah Baltimore, we appreciate you being here and uh, up, updating the links that we forget about. Sometimes, I mean, you get on to playing the game and you're running everything else. I mean, we've had this on Games Gone Wild where it's like tons of stuff all at once. And you're like, oh, man. You know, just just today I was just like, I was driving to work. I was in my short saw so because I, I was going to go downstairs before forgot my shoes had to turn around yeah, yeah, we then we went to go to lunch forgot the beef jerky just today has not <laughs> exactly been i messed up the pricing on that other thing just thursday can thursday can go at this point yeah right? we'll get i'm out ready of for thursday. tomorrow yeah Baltimore's laughing i almost dropped it out to the desktop it was close what are mods for in this game i think it's for the arcade the look they added a new um, level or new option in to this game called the Arcade, which are, I think are arcade levels. So they have different challenges. And I want to say that maybe that's where it comes into play. Okay. I'll try to look. Oh, jeez. I wasn't even paying attention again. Got some bullet time going on here. Bam, bam, oh, bam. Kill. Okay, cool. What was that? Ah, oh, clicked it too uh, too too early because it looked like it was talking about an R red green blue or a random number generator kind of thing. Um, one interesting thing about the game is that if you play with a RG or um, was it RGB uh, keyboard, oh, you can see them, uh, that they actually change the keys to match what the controls are. Like that for the game, because I've got. So that, if you're playing what, for keyboard, what you do I have? That one it. that like Corsair makes. Yeah, is that what we're talking about? Yes. Or like you've got the Razor one or whatnot. What is going on with this thing? Oh, bullets. Okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, if you have a RGB keyboard, it will actually. Oh, another, cool. Another gun. It will actually like make the Y S D A S D. A different color it'll press number one is oh, a different color okay. and then, yeah so i got it it's kind of cool. cool i've seen it on other games but not on a like a like a, a new uh, like an indie style game which i don't even know really how indie this is this looks like pretty polished like game oh your message got retracted there Baltimore. i don't know what you were saying Oh, I see what you were saying. Not mods for in this game, because I was going to say I didn't see that, but you're saying that's what mods are for in the chat. Yes, thank you. You were correct. <laughs> Sometimes I get... Oh, I didn't even see that. Gosh, I just followed you right off the bridge of there. Yep. We just walked right into trouble. Okay, they come in, that's why. So they're going to be down... Here... There we go. There was no getting to jump on us. We knew. <laughs> it's kind of like the art style also in this reminds me of American Fugitive. Mm hmm Like the, I guess it's this, it's kind of cell shaded. Yeah. Uh -huh. In a way. So. There's another game that this also reminds me of called Mr. Shifty. Yeah. 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 It did the way they run. Yeah. Yes. That's and sure. and this chick's got the blink, and I think in that game. Do you have to blink through, or blink through that? Maybe no. What did we miss? There are those blinking like machines up here, and there. So what are these things? TVs. I think it was just saying they're destructive. Oh, they're just no. They give out a gun. Oh, destroy destroy TV sets. Okay. There, there we go. go. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, we do have Mondays sometimes, man. We've got a lot of stuff that backs up on us, which is kind of crazy a little bit. I've got some presentations that are due tomorrow, and then we've got just, you know, take two, 2K dropped 100 plus games on us, plus the other 100 games we had. So, yeah, we've got a little bit of stuff. Oh, nice. Here we get through. It's just one of those weeks where, and then, like we said on the other show yesterday, our uh, counterpart, uh, Mark, who doesn't show up on stream, is on vacation. So we've got like additional workloads that. Sorry, I'm trying to. No, no, it's do all, something all here good. Real fast. I gotta unlock our terminal. Mark, who helps us, um, is off on vacation. So just really everything gets backlogged. So we gotta escape the fire, so I take it we gotta run. Wow. Yeah, it catches you. I haven't figured out the best way to go though. Oh! Oh, we were so close. Nice. Level complete. Yeah, there is a little bit of a backlog going on. <laughs> we don't talk about too much on... Uh, we don't talk about a lot of those things too much on um, Games Gone Wild show, but uh, we do every once in a while. But on here, we, we kind of express, like, there's a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some people are just like, you guys just, you know... Throw your feet yeah, up just sit just around and play games, games or whatever, yeah, exactly. right? So it's just... Ugh. Which, you know, obviously it's hard <laughs> to fight back against when we're doing this, but... <laughs> I, like the, I like the look and feel of the game. I like the speed that they've got it set up at. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting that there's a local co-op and an online co-op to it. Because in a way, it's definitely like Contra. Yeah. Right, where you have to be doing the right thing at the right time, so you're not getting your buddy killed or you're not getting yourself killed, and you're not slowing them down either, which I've noticed. That's what swap these out. Nice. That's what kind of throws me off a little bit is I would play this differently if we weren't playing with two. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? that's what I was thinking. So it's like, not only do you have to be aware of what you're doing and yep. the enemies, but there's this other thing that, like, you've got your partner who's also running around yep. and might be, you know, as much as you can communicate as possible, but it's still got that, like, oh, wow. All right, so it says, using stealth skills to dispose of your enemies is not only quiet, but also grants you more XP. Okay, so it refills your bar faster, too. Um... You know, in, a, in another way, this game feels a little bit like, uh, nice. It feels a little bit like <laughs> House of the Dead uh, Overkill. It's a little ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's, it's kind of got that in it as well. Although you're not, you know, first person, or, uh, light gun in the game but uh it's kind of like that i think we will be light gunning next week because i think at the at our little company event oh event, do they have something yeah i believe they've got air i think they have area 51 arcade which is oh. funny because we were just talking hey, about that, we that were works. just wow, talking about this right yeah for sure in our in that room they reserved for us so oh well yeah too busy talking about not that. I wish Calamity did have online co-op as well, because it it was fun for sure. They're, both of these games are fun. I like I like this style of gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, I also thought like our uh, excursion on American Fugitive was fun. So all of these games, you they want can to make more. Yeah. Or, yeah I, mean, I was just trying to get out of that dude's range. He doesn't even see. You. Oh, yeah, there he didn't. Oh, there you go. Man, he's a dead eye, isn't he? <laughs> Whew. 
Yeah, what's also Oh, nice? get you going through the door. Nice. Triple yeah, what's also nice about this style of co-op game is sometimes, like, when we go flip on No Man's Sky VR and we're playing that with three or four or whatever, that's like a, you got the game and you got the headset and you got to get really sure. adjusted. This, you can pick up the control and you're basically playing within a couple of minutes. Yeah. Right. Oh, this one, yeah. There's, there's really, it's hard to say, like. Oh, boy. Oh. Trashed. Okay. Hold on, let me mind control one of these dudes. I was going to say, yeah, if you can grab them with the, uh. Oh, just kidding. Oh, uh, it won't let you? Oh, you don't have enough build up. Okay. Stealth him. Eh. Nicely done. It wasn't stealth, but. Nicely done. A little bit of gore involved. Okay, where are we going? Oh. Ooh. Man, Ooh. if they see you coming, it's like one shot done. I'll tell you this shoddy, though. Watch this. I'm trying to get over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How'd that do this toast? How did you do Okay, I. Okay, you wow. took him down. Stop. Get nice. this guy. What was XP? Oh, there was a guy up in the corner. What? Get off. Okay, you're good. I think he killed me, but since we killed each other at the same time, it may be. Oh, man, those guys with the guns, they're like just relentless. Oh, the dude was. He didn't follow him in. He didn't do that before. Yeah, the destructible environments are nice. You know, funny enough, talking about <sighs> destructible environments, I was playing that, um... I was playing... Oh, that guy again, man, what a... Uh, Red Faction... Oh, boy. What's the one that, uh... Oh, you're gonna die. Okay, oh, I didn't get to you. Um, Red Faction... What was it called? Which one? Where you're on Mars. And you're all the environments destructible. I know they're all like that, but it's the last one that they did. Because didn't they do one where it was that plus like there was terraforming or something like that in it? Or was that a different game? I think that's a different game. Okay. Red Faction. It was remastered too. All right, crazy. boys. That'll be enough. Red Faction Gorilla. Ooh. <laughs> Boy, hanging on by a thread here in this one, aren't we? Gorilla. You're right, Baltimore. That, um, man, that's a good game with destruction everywhere. It's awesome. I haven't played Red Faction in a minute. It's been yeah. a while since I It's been a while since game. I played it, but... Dude just comes running through the door at you. Ugh. I do like the. What's back here? Anything back here? Ooh. There's a thing where we both step on something, or it takes two. Oh, we gotta push this. We just push. There we go. Oh, man. Please. Hold on, let me try something. Oh. Well, gonna use they them. don't care too much. They, just, they hear like one noise and they come running. Swinging. I was going to do one of those mind control things. Okay. Uh, good job. Who did you mind control? The I guess I'll stay back. Gun? Okay, that was a good hit. Another one. Ooh. Those tomahawk guys really just sprint oh. at you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they do really run right towards you, don't they? Damn. Can you zip through that wall? No. Trapped souls. 
Huh. Hmm. I just went in guns blazing. And it was horrible. Uh, you shot one guy. Oh. Oh, what? You're close. See if we do that. Does that wake them up? No. Multi kill. Thanks. All right. Now look at this guy. All right, Lance. Oh, who was Lance? Oh, they didn't say. That was it. Look at that death count. Doing something right. It's not for killing anybody. Um, you can shoot through thin walls. I didn't notice that. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, that'd be a way to do it. Lance Vance. Okay. Level, level two, level three. What is that? So that's speed, range, bonus XP. Bonus XP is probably the way to go. Okay. Here they oh, this is Lance. Okay. So, whoa. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's back in bullet time. Oh, you gotta really dodge, though. Bullet time does not mean you're bulletproof. <laughs> it's a stunt double. What happens here when I press that? Let's something. My guy had something above his head. Toss that grenade or dynamite at this. Yep, through the door. A tomahawk guy. God, I thought... Ugh. He thought I had... Yeah, I went down. I thought that. that was you. Not to make excuses, but... That's the best thing to do. Get him! <laughs> we got it. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Grab some of this, some of that, bring some of that. Grab some dynamite. Oh, here we you go. You found a special weapon, the blunderbuss. There's two. There's one for you. Oh, nice. Ooh. A wider spread. What? What? <laughs> You got killed by a water tank. Oh, oh I must have... You must only get so many shots. You get three. Three, that's why. Ah. <laughs> okay. I thought I was going to be slick there, but... Uh. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Tower. Sorts of, oh, there we go. I have no idea how you lived through that. Uh, because I think I was invincible when I was coming back to life, and it gave me a second of reprieve. Oh, there was guys back here that I didn't even see. You lost your head. 
fact. Ooh, triple kill. Man, they come running at you so fast. I'm almost dead. Oh, oh, I didn't even see you were down. Sorry. <laughs> ah, I went through the door too quick. Kill that guy. Ah, oh, I should have killed the other guy. Okay, I got the guys on the screen's left. Okay, go. Uh, it kind of worked. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of set that off and you ran right into it. <laughs> oh, he killed me too, so. Yeah, there's invincibility frames there for a second, for sure. I don't like these blunder. I like the melee weapon better. Hold on, can we get rid of There we go. Okay. I can do more with the melee than I can with the damn gun. It's a little more strategic. You can kind of plan your stuff. For yeah, melee a little, a little more better. straightforward. I have this whip thing that I'm not a tremendous fan oh, of. Watch out, Chief, up here. Oh, <laughs> wow. Ready? Yeah. Oh, we were so close. Only one of us had to get through. So close. Oh, watch out. Alright, nice. There we go. Oh, watch out. Call back here. Oh, what really? got us? The dynamite that he threw. Uh, I walked right into it. I should have stayed out there. So we, oh, jeez, he got me. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> Man, we can get a little frantic for sure. Uh... One of these cats has dynamite. <laughs> All right, we made it through there. Let's see. There's the special weapons chest. I will take whatever that the is. The unfinished walls you can shoot through is what Baltimore's saying. Oh, okay. We'll have to try that again. Are we going... Oh, we got just a... What is this thing? A nail gun. Yeah, I'm going to go melee. Okay, I think, and I'm not sure if this, this might have been the kind of wall he was talking about. Oh, I can't go that way. I can go through the front door. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. That was my fault. I didn't see. Oh, good. Okay, we cleared that out. I've got to go this way. There's a couple dudes back here. Okay, cool. Now you can go through the gate thing if you want. Oh, I didn't see you were dead. Let's see. We'll do we'll try one more run. Nice. Oh, oh it made him mad. What is that you're using? I'm not I'm not totally sure. You're what that darting is. them and it's poisoning them? Something like that, yeah. Okay. So I was like, where is this green stuff coming from? Oh, God. Okay. We're still alive. We're still going strong. Okay, watch out, dude, here. Dead. Um. Looks like one guy alive. 
no. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, sweet. Like, there you, it looks like you could shoot through it, I guess, but we don't have a weapon. Oh, yeah, we do. Hold on. No? I don't know. Oh, oh, that guy was just like turned around and didn't even see him. Ah, that dynamite, I hate that. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, we got close. Let's try one more. Frantically run through. Kill. I'm gonna grab one of those dynamites. Hold on. Okay. Here, I'm gonna go through the side door. You drop in there, throw it in. Well, the strategy was sound. Yeah, it worked. We're good. Oh, why can't I revive you? Oh, no. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> How lucky was that of being around? Oh, 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 what? What? I don't know. All right. That was pretty interesting. I like that game. That's pretty fun. That uh, That's the kind of games that do really well with local couch co-op. And you don't see that on PC so much anymore. Yeah. Right? I mean, you do on PC, but it's like, that's not the platform I remember people playing it on. It was mostly console that was always the... You know, the couch co-op kind of experience. N64 is the the first thing that comes to mind, right? Sure. The yeah. first thing that had, like, actually four player built in. When you had the four controls right. where you could just... That was such a such a big thing. Um, but both games... Baltimore dropped the links in the chat. Thank you, man. And appreciate that. Both games are available now. You can go pick them up. Uh, Silver Chains, we would played earlier. It was more of the horror genre. This is more of the action genre. They're both pretty solid. We had a good time with both of them. And uh, we talked about some news, so I think we're good for today's show. Yep. Next week, we're going to be back in, like, sync, so you'll see, like, the notifications of the show go out earlier. You'll see um, everything will be set up proper. We might play around with a little bit different. Uh, we'll see how this show gets some feedback. Last show was our best show that we've had mm -hmm. um, in terms of views and minutes and all that stuff, so we appreciate everybody tuning in and checking it out. Hopefully, we get the same response with this. If it does, we'll keep this format. If not, we'll maybe adjust some things and try a little yeah. bit different. But uh, we did get some good feedback. Got a, got a lot folks of like the way we did it last. Got a lot week. of good games coming up. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. We could sit there and play. We talked about Manhunt. We talked about uh, Bully. We talked about Grand Theft Auto. We talked about Bioshock franchise. Gosh. All of those games we can play on stream and, and have some uh, fun with. Mm -hmm. So, and thank you, Baltimore. It's good to be back. We appreciate you being here as well. And um, we'll definitely talk to everybody next week. But in the meantime, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Check us out when you get a chance and see all the videos that we put up and all the different things. And then also uh, give us a like or dislike. That helps get the, the video out to more people on YouTube so we can actually get more uh, feedback on how people like the yep. the uh, the show. And if, if you have anything to say about the game, definitely leave it in the comments. Um, afterwards so we can uh, read those out and you know if there's anything good we'll definitely or bad definitely. we'll definitely talk yep. about it on the stream and uh, showcase the uh, comments that everybody leaves as we go forward so until next time until next Thursday we'll have we'll hope you have a good weekend and we'll be back uh, 6 p.m. Pacific next Thursday and with some brand new batch of games thanks for coming okay easy. thanks again folks have a great weekend bye bye